It has been 10 years since our next guest opened a new business in town, something Tulsa had never seen before, a sip and paint studio. Now there are three studios in all, many people who have made that connection to Pino's Palette. Lisa Riley is the owner. She's here uh, and brought some, we're gonna paint in a little bit, which always makes me nervous. I don't have the sipping part of this down. I think that's no. what this is We did missing. not bring that. That's <laughs> not, that's, hey, this is so exciting. Congratulations. Thank you so much. As you think back, Back over the last 10 years. First of all, what prompted you to open this type of business? You know, I wanted um, to move back from uh, Houston. I'm from Tulsa, and so I wanted to move home, and um, I couldn't find a job of what I was doing, and uh, one of my girlfriends was like, you love Pino's Palette in Houston. Why don't you open something like that in Tulsa? And you know, Tulsa was at that cusp where we were kind of starting to pivot and change, and we didn't have anything like this. We, You know, going to the movies and going bowling and going out to dinner as adults, but we didn't have any other fun things to really kind of do for people who don't want to go to the club or whatever and so I thought why not I'll take a chance and I jumped from oil and gas to owning a paint and sip studio and so anyways it it took off and oh my gosh we just I wasn't really sure what was gonna happen and it was amazing yeah and, and so for people who aren't familiar we're gonna show you a few pictures but you can make an appointment you come into a class walk people through kind of the experience yeah so you you go to our website pinospalette.com find the location you want we've got three here and then you um, find the painting you want that works with your schedule click it make a reservation and then you show up the day before about 20 minutes before class starts and we have assigned seating so that way you get to sit with your friends or your family or coworkers, and um, then you um, we walk you step by step through a full canvas painting in two or three hours uh, while we listen to you know hip-hop music or fun music and um, 80s music and we sip and you know we just have a really good time it's it's a lot of fun because it creates camaraderie and it gives you something to focus on instead of like at dinner where you're trying to like find things to talk about you know it gives you something to like talk about and really puts everyone kind of on the same playing field because right. not everybody's an artist and some of us are not naturally creative and so it's something fun and safe to do in you know one time setting and so it's just easy and it's less intimidating i love that idea for sure now during all of this time you you open a store you're thinking about the second one and you get a diagnosis that changes your life oh my gosh yeah um we had opened our third location which i was not prepared for um i was thinking i would open one a few years later and um all of a sudden tulsa just embraced us and i was i just opened my third location and um went to the doctor and found out I had breast cancer. And so, you know, I didn't have time for that. I was a business owner, a mom, a wife, and trying to make things work. And it was like, God had a, a different plan for me and was like, you're just gonna need to take a deep breath and have to trust the process. And you're gonna have to rely on all the people around you, yeah. which you had a great team and have a great team. Yes. Okay, look at the screen. Oh my gosh, yep. look at that picture. Yep. This is from 2014, Lisa. I oh, still have it. You're this. gonna make me cry. I know, that was part of the thing. I, call, <laughs> I, I, uh, I, kept, I keep this in my phone so that I'm reminded and I say a prayer for you every time I see it. Oh my it. God, I love and it so I, much. And I just, I love what you do. Okay, so yeah. now's the time. I'm gonna scoot yeah. around here. We bring Rachel in. I'm so grateful that you have already done about 90% of this painting. So, or like, I'll, do I just sign it? Is that all I need to do, Rachel? You're almost there. Okay, all right, so tell me what I'm gonna do first. Okay, so you're gonna get this little little red bunch. Brush. Okay, uh -huh. orange. Mm -hmm. And then dip your brush in your water. Okay. There. Now, this is actually gonna be kind of a mix. So you're okay. gonna touch your red paint red and your black paint. And black. And kind of stir that together at the middle of your plate. Okay, red, black. <laughs> Mixed. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna water it down. Okay. Put Pull the water in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you see this uh, yeah. horizon right here? That's yeah. actually what we're gonna do. Okay. So come over here uh -huh. and start a line that kind of goes Straight. across there. Exactly. Straight across there. Uh huh. And you're gonna go. <laughs> see, and, you're gonna, the, and you're gonna take see, your brush and go tap, 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 tap. We're gonna do kind of this foliage. All across there. here? That's right. Exactly. Okay. Just follow that line. Okay. And you'll notice that it kind of bumps up and down. Yeah. That's what those trees do. That's amazing. Look how good I am. <laughs> I am bumping wonderful. up and down. We need some bumping up and down music there while I'm doing well, this. We're <laughs> yeah. We are. Now, us. I will tell you what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to take a break here in a minute, and we'll, you and I will continue to work on this while uh, Tess and Alan have stories. So I want Lisa to explain because the thing that's neat is you're gonna have some classes, mm -hmm. especially for your 10th anniversary. So tell folks, and the thing that's neat is each of your studios kind of have different, if you wanna do 
flowers if you want to do a, yes. a creation, an animal. Yes. So, so tell folks what they need to we do. We have three locations and every night that we have a class, we, we don't do the same painting at each studio. So that way you have three options each night if one painting gravitates more towards what you would like to paint. But this week is our 10th anniversary on Cherry Street. So we are going to be celebrating Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night um, at 7 p.m. And we've got, you know, fun decorations and balloon stuff. And then um, a bunch of the businesses on Cherry Street wanted to pitch in. And so we are doing giveaways during classes just to make it extra fun and and people win prizes and stuff while they're they're having you know painting and drinking and having a good time so I they can make it. reservations at pinospalette.com on the cherry street uh, location and so yeah we're really excited you know it's a, it's a it's a big deal to hit 10 years. Absolutely. And it's I, a very big deal. And we're just thrilled because you've been on our show multiple times. And so we yeah. kind of just take a little ownership in the success. So thank you so much. I'm going to keep working on this. We'll check, check check back in and see if I can actually complete this whole line or if Rachel's going to have to like cover it with a different color You're doing and great. start all over. I'm, I, I don't think there's anything that you can mess up here. But anyway, yeah. so let me just turn around. I'm going to say uh, we are going to take a quick break. Uh, we will have more of six in the morning as I continue my artistic abilities right after this.